Joined by Corey Price, an artist with the Third Street Box Office Project at the Paramount Theater. She's sitting down with Destiny. Thank you, Aaron and Corey. We thank you so much for joining us once again. You said you came here not long ago, right? That's right. Yeah, it's great to be back. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So you're here to talk about the Paramount's Third Street Box Office Project. Tell me a little bit about that. That's right. So the Paramount, to commemorate the 60-year anniversary of the Civil Rights Act, um, as well as to bring awareness and attention to the segregated entrance that's still there off of Third Street on the as you go down to the downtown mall, um, they had an open call for artists and asked artists in the community to respond to their prompt. Um, and so I was very pleased to put in applications, pleased to get accepted, and very excited to show work soon. Awesome, and as an artist in Charlottesville, what drew you to the project? And can you tell us more about what you specifically proposed? Yeah, so I, you know, I've walked past that area so many times and I've never noticed that box office. And so the opportunity to not only learn the history, but to help others engage with that history really drew me to this project. And so I'm, you know, I really wanted to make sure that that Third Street box office um, is seen and that the history is something that's available for folks to learn about through art. Right, and when will your artwork be on display and what do you want the community to take away from seeing your work? Great, um, it'll be on display tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon awesome. uh, at 5.30. Uh, so come on down and check it out. It'll be outside of the box office on 3rd Street. Um, and I really hope that the community takes away um, a sense of how recent and how current history is. Um, so in this, in this project, I compress time a little bit. The past, the present, and the future are all kind of combined into this single point where we exist with folks from the past um, and can kind of exist in this space where we're informed by history and then we inform history as we create the future. Awesome, and will your work be on display just tomorrow or is it more days to come? Yes, thank you for that. Uh, it'll be for three weeks until I believe July 23rd and then following me will be um, an opening by To Be A Month and then after To Be A Month will be an artist by the name of Nick Brennan. So more to come. You guys have a lot going on and where can people go if they want to find out more information? You can go to the Paramount's website. I see that we've got a little thingamajig up there for y'all. Yep, um, so a little thingamajig, <laughs> that thing. Uh, but check out the website and um, as you're on your way to the mall, stop by and check out Smart. Awesome, Corey. Is there anything else that you would like to add? Nothing else to add, just um, very grateful to the Paramount, to folks who participated in the art project, um, and excited for folks to see it starting awesome. tomorrow afternoon. Awesome. Well, again, we thank you so much for joining us. Back to you, Erin.